Yesterday there was a special election in Connecticut. I told you all about this and we got you all pumped up and you know what happened? 500 volunteers went into the 32nd district of Connecticut for that state senate run. If uh, the Democrats won that seat, the entire senate would go back to being blue. It's current it was currently tied and uh, the Democratic candidate there was Greg Cava and it was Wolfpack running the election against him because the Republican running against Cava had voted against Wolfpack's free and fair elections resolution. That was a mistake. So now, I, let me give you the context. Uh, last time there was an election before the special one, it was just a couple months ago, November 8, 2016. Uh, Kava had not won that one. He had lost that one significantly to the Republicans, 68 to 32. Robert Kane went to go take another seat, but this is a heavily, heavily Republican district, so another Republican was up against Kava this time. So that's a 36 point walloping that Kava had gotten last time. And I told you, Kava, we got to have her. And you know what happened? We didn't have a. <laughs> okay, we didn't win, we didn't win. Uh, but let me show you the result from last night. All of a sudden, 55 45. Mm. That's a 10 point loss. That is a whopping 26 point difference in just four months. Now, what has happened in those four months? Only two things have happened. Uh, one, of course, Trump got elected, and a lot of people are excited about that, and that has made a difference in other races, state races across the country. Yeah. Now, it has not made a 26 point difference in any of those races. The no. second thing that happened was that Wolfpack went in. Mm -hmm. And so, in this case, 500 volunteers in one district. That's so, amazing. Okay, it is. It are is. there 500 people in that district? <laughs> there I are. don't know. There are. Voter turnout was, of course, much larger. I'll get to that in a second. And then. Um, we did spend some money there, uh, and so some uh, of our opponents started crying about that. And they're like, oh, but you guys say you want to get money out of politics, but you're spending money in this race. That's right. You know, there's a great way to stop us <laughs> get money out of politics. Oh. <laughs> so um, I would suggest next time, if you're considering voting against Wolfpack's free and fair elections resolution, you think of, about a couple of things. If you like money in politics, be careful what you wish for. Mm -hmm. And secondly, are you sure you've got a 26 point lead in your district? Because apparently we can yeah. swing about 26 points in the most Republican district there was in that state. Yeah. In fact, now let me go to the experts and show you. First of all, the DNC is already crowing about this race. You're welcome, by the way, for making it this close. Tom Perez, the new DNC chair, says Democrats also came within approximately 1,800 votes of flipping the most Republican Senate district in the entire state. Showing that even Republicans running in GOP strongholds aren't safe from the shadow of Trump. Now, of course, he's phrasing it like it's a Trump issue, and partly it is, but but I would argue mainly it's a wolf pack issue because that district was did perf the Democrat performed far, far, far better in than even in other special elections that are happening right now in that state and others. In the most Republican, and this is now the Connecticut Mirror, local papers, all of them recognizing it. They say in the most Republican Senate district in the state, Cava lost by 10 percentage points, which Democrats say is their best showing there in decades. I have more that on that in a second because it's actually a little longer than decades. Mm. Uh, so now we go to Millennia. national news, <laughs> right? <laughs> we go to national news, having to post. While President Donald Trump was delivering his first address to a joint session of Congress on Tuesday, Democrats got the highest vote percentage they have ever received in the most Republican state Senate district in Connecticut. Democrat Greg Cava lost the election, but it was another small sign of improving electoral conditions for Democrats. Especially if Wolfpack's involved. Okay, now <laughs> Wolfpack, by the way, is not. I love that they all give you credit there. No, in by all of those sources. No, no, no. They actually did. Oh, they did. Well, I'm okay, leaving good. that out. Okay, okay, good, good. But you can read the Connecticut Mirror. They mentioned Wolfpack. They're like, oh, Wolfpack came. That was interesting, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, the Post good. mentions Wolfpack. Uh, almost oh, there's a uh, the Hartford Courant uh, mentioned Wolfpack several times. Hmm. They noted our intended irony of our spending in that race. So everybody knows that was us. Yeah. Okay. So now, um, let me give you further context because uh, I love this story. Uh, not only have Republicans held the seat uh, for a century, but Cava received the highest percentage of any Democrat in recent memory. Hmm. Uh, okay, hmm. I want to go back to Wolfpack being nonpartisan. Now, this happened to be a Democrat against a Republican, but sometimes Democrats vote against our uh, resolution. I would counsel against it. <laughs> okay. Um, they, when you, 
if you are not sure if we're really nonpartisan, go ahead and test us and see how that turns out. But make sure you've got at least a 26 point lead in your <laughs> district, okay? So we don't care if it's Republican or Democrat in the context of Wolfpack. If you vote for free and fair elections and get money out of politics, we love you. Go out, God bless, go forward, yeah. okay? If you vote against it, we don't care what's next to your name and and we will come for you. And if you like money in politics, we'll give you money in politics and we'll throw in 500 yeah. volunteers on top. A couple of last quotes here. We go to Carolyn Fidler, who's a Democratic Legislative Campaign Committee community Communications Director. She says, Title's it, I know, I agree. <laughs> Early returns show the Democrat just barely lost uh, Senate District 32, literally the most Republican Senate district in the state. If true, the extreme level of Democratic over, and it was true, uh, she wrote that earlier in the night. The extreme level of a Democratic overperformance in a district Republicans won two to one just last fall should terrify the GOP. This kind of Democratic strength will be the death of Republicans in the cycle in GOP held seats that are even remotely competitive. Again, that comes with a giant, but <laughs> it depends. It depends on. Which side Wolf packs on? Yeah, so, and who the candidates are? Yeah. if they stand for the right things. Exactly. Do they deserve the activists moving in and helping them? Yeah. So that's a great point by John. So, look, the Trump phenomenon is real because you see it in the other state races at a much lower percentage than you see it in this race. The Wolf Pack uh, part of it is with the volunteers, the money makes a giant difference, and that's real. The other thing is, hey, vote the right way. So you know why? Because your constituents, whether they're Republicans or Democrats, don't like corruption. They actually do want free and fair elections. That polls at about 90%. The main thing that Wolfpack does is it just lets your constituents know that. They just let you let them know how you voted. And so if you voted for free and fair elections, great, that's wonderful. If you voted against that, well, now we know. Yeah. Okay. And finally, Senator Bob Duff from uh De uh, Democrat of Connecticut, he's the Connecticut Senate Majority Leader, says, we had a very good candidate who worked hard. We also had an energized base to get out the vote. Yeah, take both. Okay, it does indeed. And then Huffington Post ends with, turnout was much higher than anticipated for Connecticut's special election. In three towns, Washington, Roxbury, and Southbury, the polling locations ran out of ballots and had to tabulate votes by hand. See, that's what we do. Wolfpack gets out the vote. That's why we're on the ground. What do you need the 500 volunteers for? It's not some sort of big money operation that has any other ulterior motive. It is citizens who care about getting money out of politics, and they go and let the local folks know which way their representatives and senators voted, yeah. and then those people go out and vote. You vote, you make a difference. Now, bottom line is, yeah. uh, we, we, we didn't win the election, but we knew that going in that it was going to be a super hard fight. I, and part of the reason we picked this race was because we knew there was a 36 point uh, deficit and that no one else was trying really. So small local groups that had a little bit of an effect, bless their hearts, but we, we sent in an army over there. Because if it was a closer race, they could make excuses. Yeah. Oh, it was the Democrats would have won anyway, it was the Trump thing, it was this, it was that. But so now we've set a precedent and in races that are not decided by more than 25 points, um, I, I bet we put together a track record that will prove it out to you. Again, if you'd like to test it, have at it, Hoss. Just yeah. make sure you come correct. Yeah. I hope somebody checked those hand tabulated votes in a race that was only 1,800 votes <laughs> off. Let's make sure that that's secure. And also, and I, I said this uh, it was less than a week ago, it feels like forever ago. Uh, when Tom Perez extremely narrowly beat Keith Ellison, like losing sucks, and in terms of power, it's everything, winning versus losing. But progress also matters. And if a race can turn 26 points in Connecticut in a matter of just four months, I mean, by my math, by December, if they ran it again, he'd get 300% of the vote. Uh, <laughs> this progress matters, and simply because a snapshot of it doesn't show that you've won the battle just yet does not mean that you need to quit, that you need to throw in the towel. Um, that that could get flipped in the next uh, in the next race. Super volunteer for Wolfpack, Stephen Garcia said, "Cam may have lost, but Wolfpack won, and because we sent a message. So come and send that message with us. Wolf-Pack.com. Be a volunteer like uh, Stephen Garcia, like all the folks that were on the ground in Connecticut, the people who made the phone calls all across the country. Feel the power. It's amazing. And all, you know what was happening in the polls." Constituents were coming out because they had gotten the letters, they had gotten uh, people that came and talked to them in their house, they had gotten the phone calls. 
our volunteers were getting hugged at the voting booths. Like on the, you know, like hey, they're honking in the streets and and they're seeing them like you're the Wolfpack guys, hmm. right? Now the Republicans in this particular district did not give out hugs. No, they did not. <laughs> okay, yeah. but but a lot of people appreciated it, and it's gratifying, and it's hard work, and you don't always get everything you want. Yeah. But there's great uh, fervor in that fight, and there's great joy in that fight, hugs. and 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 eventually fulfillment in that yeah. fight. So come join us, Wolf. Dashpack.com.